The music world is mourning the loss of famed singer Steve Harwell. The South Bay native was best known as the frontman for the rock group Smash Mouth. KTV's Jesse Gary live tonight in Campbell with reaction to Harwell's death and how the band really impacted Jesse the rock scene. Hey guys, Steve Harwell died with family and friends at his bedside in Idaho. His music career, though, began here in Campbell at Sound Tech Studios. Long before Smash Mouth reached mega success, he was remembered as a man with a very unique, big personality and a very unique voice. It wasn't especially in tune, wasn't like virtuoso, it just was unique. It was different. Starting in the 90s, Smash Mouth, with Steve Harwell on lead, had a string of hits. This includes the generational anthem, All Star. Music expert Dan Orloff says this sound was a one-of-a-kind cross between the Doors and the Rolling Stones. It was a fusion of pop, rock, and ska, and once again, another unique product out of San Jose. As the South Bay performer's star rose, he remained loyal to local haunts close to home. This includes Sushi Confidential and Campbell. The celebrity wall has multiple pictures of Harwell with owner Randy Musterer. He supported not only my restaurant, but a lot of uh, businesses here in downtown Campbell and Los Gatos. Their 15-year friendship features parties and celebrations for some of life's milestones. But it was one of life's tragedies that twisted the soul of this Grammy-nominated artist. Decades ago, his young son died due to childhood leukemia. If someone experiences something so harrowing as the loss of a child, they, they often will seek to um, self-medicate through drugs or alcohol use. That hurt set Harwell on a path of abuse that published reports say led to liver failure. Some felt helpless. So many tried to help him, and he was on a course. Monday morning, unfortunate news for family, friends, and fans. As Harwell's manager says, he passed peacefully. The collective sadness is tempered by the lasting impact the man and his music has had on so many lives. I've done a lot of crying <laughs> um, and just going through my Facebook feed to see how many people he's touched. He definitely got through to a lot of people through his music. Harwell is survived by his fiance and other family members. He was just 56 years old. We're live in Campbell this evening. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you. 56, yeah. Too young indeed. All right, Jesse, thank you.